Hola. Hi. Okay, so today I want to talk about something that is very invisible, where most of us who are dealing with it feel pretty much left alone, dismissed by doctors often, dismissed by family who doesn't get it, or we are even on top of, I'm talking about chronic illness, on top of having that chronic illness, we might be in a relationship that is putting more stress on us because it's a narcissistic partner, for example. I have, unfortunately, a lot of friends who are dealing with this combo. And I, apart from, you know, wanting to encourage people in general and hiding artists to come out of the closet and be authentically visible. I also want to make others, uh, fellow creative travelers, visible. So a couple of days ago, I met Cyrus, who is dealing with ME. And we could relate to a lot of things because I have ME in combination with Hashimoto's and I won't bore you with the details. Anyways, Cyrus has happens to be a really good writer and he started, he just started writing a blog about what it really means. And I thought it was really good. I thought it was so good that I actually made a little reel I will put the link into my description with the beginning of his article. And the blog is called chronicberry.com and I also will put in the link for that blog. I think, you know, when we express ourselves, especially when we deal with chronic illness and we become visible with it, it relieves a lot of additional stress we are dealing with and it makes other people who are dealing with the same feel more seen and less alone and it creates awareness for those people who are ignorant to the issue because they have the luxury of really good health and I think what what, what is so tough about chronic illness like ME for example but there are many many other examples and illnesses that are invisible where you look really healthy on the outside but you are going through a shit show excuse my language day in day out I'm not exaggerating I've been dealing with this over 15 years and I think for me it's been when I look backwards a slow uh, <laughs> process of it getting worse basically and um, I've been trying a lot of stuff I even don't want to tell you I don't want to tell you how much money I spent on it and uh, I think that's why I like to debunk some of these in quotes, new age myths and stuff because I've been there. For Cyrus, the story is a little bit different. Uh, to him, it happened four years ago. You, as I said, you can read it on the blog. And I think it was more drastic. The change um, was more drastic and uh, uh, yes, soul crushing. I think it is soul crushing always. It just was a very big change, whereas my change was more... Uh, slowly. I often think that I don't wish this even onto my enemies, not that I really have any, well, fingers crossed. And, you know, you get to the point where you wonder, should you tell people or not? Because it gets exhausting having to explain yourself. That's the one thing. The other thing is it's also getting exhausting. The well-meaning tips <laughs> from others, you know, where you already think, okay, I've tried everything. And yeah, so, but if you don't tell other people, they kind of very easily, obviously can judge you when you um, are not showing up for things, or maybe you're not able to do things. And 
I think so what was really interesting I when we met Cyrus and I I felt it was incredibly validating because so many of our experiences are the same living with pain every day living with mysterious symptoms the symptoms being dismissed by the doctor the additional anxiety sleeplessness heart racing and maybe more important that feeling of because everything feels too much this feeling of overwhelm that either you you actually really want to be alone because you can't deal with people but at the same time you don't want to be because it is incredibly isolating it's like this catch 22 the same thing is like you feel you're not part of this world anymore you're in this in between space you know like you you're not being able to do a lot of things other people can do you you feel it between the living and the dead somehow so that uh, the, uh, these two things we talked about resonated with me strongly i think we don't talk about it enough how how you know there's the illness and then there's emotional stress on top of it with the Hashimoto's, there comes a lot of an emotional roller coaster uh, on top of it, um, being super hyped and whatnot. And I think I wrote an article about this that I think that we are the the hidden heroes because we are so us people who deal with this. Um, some people since thirty years, day in day out, there's not one day where this is not. Uh, you know, a companion of yours, whether you want it or not. I think we are one of the most resilient people in a way and beautiful people. And still, I think the, the one thing, as I said, is the illness. And the other thing is that on top of that, because it is so invisible, we often have to deal with feeling dismissed, feeling invalidated, feeling shamed, uh, 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 listening to things like you're being lazy or you're not worthy anything because you're not earning money and stuff like this. I, you know, my heart really bleeds for everyone who's dealing with this because it's so difficult. You're constantly trying to figure out how to make things better. You would love to have more support. Uh, on a medical level, uh, more support and on an emotional level. And most of us, I would say, are pretty much left alone with it and trying to do the best we can. And, you know, the people I know who are dealing with this are beautiful, kind, creative, talented souls. And that's why to you fellow travelers, please find a way to express yourself. Find a way, write it out, paint it out, whatever it is, do a video, whatever it is, get it out there, share it so that other people can be actually a witness and that so you become in a way, even though you might be isolated because you have to, but in a way you do become visible to others. I think for the mental health and for feeling good about ourselves, it is immensely important. And it might in a tiny, 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 tiny tad even make the illness better because stress makes it worse. So if that relieves stress, then that's a good thing. And for those people who are not dealing with it and have the luxury of health, Please have a little bit of empathy for those people who appear like not doing anything or whatever it is you think. And be a little bit understanding. Don't have them explain too much, but make clear that you're there for them. So just as a little reminder, I want you to check out that blog Cyrus Newman is his name wrote and it's called Chronic Berry and I will put it into the description as I've said and you can check out the reel I did with it too. That's it for today. That was a long one. 
This is Anja Kersten. I work with hiding artists and creative entrepreneurs. Have a really good day. Take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.